Okay guys, so I've got a banger for you in this video. We are taking a look at the sensational fight that occurred between Marcus Maidana from Argentina and Victor Ortiz from the USA. This contest was for the vacant WBA interim World Super Lightweight title. Maidana was coming off a 12 round points decision loss while Ortiz had achieved a second round TKO victory in his last fight. The stage for this fight was the Staples Center in Los Angeles, USA. Okay guys, thoughts and opinions at the end, let's get straight into the action. Important. Keeping track of time and knockdowns, we have Willie Arreola along with Debbie Garcia and our physicians at ringside. Dr. Paul Wallace, Dr. Perlman Hicks and Dr. Leandro Gattus. The judges at ringside scoring the bout are Marty Dinkin, David Mendoza and Cesar Ramos. The referee, Raul Caiz Sr. And now, damas y caballeros, from downtown Los Angeles, California, veremos quién es el más macho. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he steps in wearing red trunks trimmed in white. He weighed in at the super lightweight limit of 140 pounds. As a professional, he maintains an impressive record consisting of 25 victories against only one defeat, with 24 of his victories coming by way of knockout. De Margarita, Santa Fe, Argentina, Marcos, El Chino. His opponent across the ring in the red corner. He steps in clad in green trunks with white trim. He tipped the scales at 139 and three quarter pounds. As a professional, he maintains a record consisting of 24 victories against one defeat, one draw, and 19 of his victories coming by way of knockout. Puro Oxnard, California. Vicious, Victor Ortiz. Marco, pasa para acá, Marco. Qué muchachos, ya les di las instrucciones allá abajo. Huesito aquí para arriba. Los trunks están un poquito alto para los dos, así que dense la mano y buena suerte los dos, eh? Everything about Victor Ortiz so far in his young professional career says too good to be true. At the end of the night, are we going to still be saying he be true? Or is Maidana going to find some things out that we do not know, yet not, do not yet know about Victor Ortiz? Ortiz told us the last time that he was a headliner for anything is when he sang Old Christmas Tree at a school play in grammar school. Ortiz in the white and green, Maidana in the red. Manny, what are you looking for early? Well, you know, Maidana seems to be a little uncomfortable up here studying his body language. So I would thought that if he comes out, he could, if he got caught at least I'm saying by Ortiz, he would be hurt early because he's very nervous. But the way he's fighting, he looks just opposite. <laughs> Ten first round knockouts for Maidana. Remember, 19 of his bouts have happened in his native Argentina. Five first round knockouts for Ortiz. 11 of his 19 in the first two rounds. If, if this is Maidana's idea of starting cautiously, I can't wait till he gets heated up. Great left from Ortiz, then shoots left to the body. Good yeah. left hand by Maidana. Both guys come out fairly dry. Neither one of them is really sweated, warmed up like most fighters do, especially with a fight of this magnitude. But I'm a little bit surprised that Madonna's right hand is much shorter than it appeared when I saw the films in fighting Katelnik. It was a looping right. But right now he's right, and the left hook that he's, he's landed on Ortiz is a shot that Southpaws never look for when they're moving in. Good stuff from Maidana early here in the fight. Round number one, just underway. Yeah, but RT seems to be steady and trying to figure him out. 
Ortiz got caught leaning, then he landed a right and a left combination. Counter right, and then Ortiz drops Maidana. Ortiz gets dropped from a big right hand. And his legs are very shaky, Bob. Shaky. He seems to be the worst for where he doesn't seem to be as stable as he as needs to. He, he needs to hold, or this could be very bad news for Ortiz. Ortiz was down in the Asalas fight back last year. Got up and finished him off, but Victor Ortiz is in trouble. Get Maidana to finish him. Ortiz short left. Well, good thing about both guys are punching. Both men have been down. Ortiz holding on with that left hand. But I think that's smart to try to smother this guy and not give him any space while he's hurt. Final seconds of round one. And every push this round has been a power. What a round! Victor, you put your hands down. Don't bring them down, Victor. Come on, no errors. No errors, Victor. You can do it. You can do it. Don't bring your hands down. Close up your defense. Come up. Come up. You've got to come up. Come on. You've got to come up. Get some water. That's it. Here you see the first knockdowns coming in from Madonna was coming in caught with a right hook that he didn't see because he was delivering his own punch. And then you see it's very similar coming in. You see Madonna land a short straight right hand. <laughs> or oh, Ortiz with Ortiz with throwing another right hook, which was the same punch that he scored his knockdown with. Ortiz landed 16 of his 42 power connects. Maidana 17 of 61. Each man was down in round number one. And both men, particularly Ortiz, got up off the canvas, not from flash knockdowns, but when it looked like their nights might be over. But, but uh, Maidana seems to be a little bit slower still in his delivery of his punches, even though he's a tough guy. Ortiz seems to be crisper and a little faster with his shots. All right, Manny, you're in the you're in the camp of Ortiz right now. Let me ask you, what would be your game plan here in round number two to start? Well, there's not too much more he can do except what he's doing. I would tell you, if you do get hurt, tie him up. Don't try to cover up because you can't see punches that good. And just keep doing what you're doing. What about if you're on the other side, the Madonna camp? Yeah, Madonna just got nothing to lose. All he can do is just do what he's doing, just come out and brawl and hope that he can land the shot because he doesn't have the steel boxing skills of Ortiz or the speed. There's that right, looping yeah. right hand. That's what he's got to do. Ortiz that time gift away from another right hand. <laughs> Neither man is really bothered with a jab. All power shots. Good left hand to body. What jab? Exactly. No jab. If someone was keeping the jab count tonight, they would have an easy job. Is that the kind of thing, though, that could sort of tip the scale in your balance if one of these guys decided to use a little bit of the jab and try to set something up? Yep. If no one is shooting any jab. Everything is a power shot here. Madonna walked into a shot. It looked like their heads even came together. Yep, referee, Kaya seems checking to make sure there's no blood. The right hook to the body by Ortiz. Ortiz trying to load up a power shot. Madonna counter right hand. Drops Madonna. That came after Ortiz. 
Rollins was badly hurt against the ropes. I think I said it looks like in his man, he just said he quit. Here comes Ortiz trying to finish it here in round two. He's got power with both hands. Ten seconds to go. Steps in with the left. Hooks to the body. Madonna trying to fight back. He goes down again. Cannot be safe on the bell in any round. He's up and he's getting his count. Oscar De La Hoya is motioning to Ortiz, pointing to his head, saying, be smart from ringside. De La Hoya, Ortiz's promoter. Straight up your legs. Bring it straight up your arms. Chino. You're too tight. Loosen up. Loosen up, Chino. You're too tight. You're too wound up. Breathe deeply. Slowly, slowly, bend your waist. He's throwing the round punches. Go under it. Close up. Close up your defense. Get on the inside. Short, short punches. Don't throw from far away. Man, the knockdowns. Here you go. You see the knockdown. And the knockdowns are always coming because both guys are so aggressive that they're going in with no mindset on defense at all. And that's why these knockdowns, every one of them that's happening just as the guys are coming in throwing punches, not while they're trying to get away from punches. It is it's amazing we've had four knockdowns in two rounds of boxing. And both men have hit the deck. Yeah. And they were serious knockdowns, not off balance. According to CopyBox, Ortiz landed 21 of 39 in round two. They were all power shots at 54%. Each man was down once in round one. Maidana down twice in round two. like Ortiz is trying to box maybe just a little bit more this round. Yeah, you know, he's, he's got to respect the punching power of the other guy. The other guy doesn't have that many much boxer skills. He's a much more cruder fighter. And as the fight drives on, his punches are becoming wider and sloppier, where Ortiz's punches are still short and accurate. So it would be wise for him to make it a technical fight at this point right there and pick his punches very carefully and not get too careless. Good right hand, though, by Maidana. I mean, Ortiz made a few moves that looked a little defensive from long range. Got hit right on the chops by a good right hand. But responds, you see Ortiz's temperament. When he gets hit, when he gets hurt, he responds by attacking. Maybe not smart, but it's fan friendly. That shot hurt Ortiz. You know, before the fight, I was saying that both of these guys back there had a lot of drama that they've had in their lives that made them create a lot of character, and it's coming through in the fight. They both are fighting that way with guys who are determined to win this fight regardless at all costs and has no fear because of experiences they've had in their social and private life. Yep, you saw the feature on Ortiz. Maidana started boxing at the age of 15. Walked to the gym, walked by one one day, said, I'll give it a try. Worked on a farm as a kid, youngest of... Eight brothers and sisters. Well, Maidana just missed with the counter right. Got the shoulder of Ortiz. There have been whispers in boxing about Ortiz's chin recently. And we've seen him down and badly hurt in this fight, albeit against a good puncher. But there's never been any whispers about his heart, and you can see why. The, it, clearly, Ortiz has a lot of heart. It goes back to his life. Fought to survive since he was a kid. He takes it into the ring with him every time. The, the punches of Madonna is getting slower and wider now, even though he's punching with a lot of power. It, it, but, the, you know, it seems like at this point, Ortiz can see his punches and kind of adjust and prepare for them a little better. Upset here in round number three. No knockdown. We get set for the start of round number four. Let's check in as we get ready for round number four with Ortiz and Maidana underway. Here's our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. Okay, Bob. Two rounds, 
to one even in favor of vicious Victor Ortiz. Bob, the first round, I gotta tell you, you had to score a 10 to 10. I mean, there just wasn't the winner. Both guys scored knockdowns, but you know, there was just no advantage to either guy. In round two, Victor Ortiz had a 10-7 round because he scored two knockdowns, and I thought Victor Ortiz still won the third round, even though Marcus Medana's got that sneaky right hand that he gets in. But in round three, Marcus Medana started to do this. He started to hold, and you can see Victor Ortiz stayed on top of him, got the best of him. Two rounds, one even in favor of Victor Ortiz. A rare even round from Harold. Hard to argue. Both men were down in that first round. Maidana, meanwhile, though he is getting a little sloppier, remains a very dangerous opponent because not only can he punch, but he has, his will has not been broken. He's still in there trying to win. He's not just riding out the, the, the string here. That's, that's a good point. You know, and also, there's been a lot of, to me, seemingly a hard rabbit punches, semi-rabbit punches when those guys get caught. One guy will be holding one guy's arm and hit him with powerful shots right on the back of the side of the head. You know, Maidana got dropped in the first round and twice in the second. He hadn't been down but once in his career. That was back in 2005 against Omar Leon. After the second knockdown in the second round, it seems like he wanted to quit. No, he hasn't fought that way. No, nope, no, no. He's got up and fought just opposite. One minute to go in the fourth. You know, I would really wonder if Ortiz would use his right jab a little bit more and, and utilize that, and, and, and I think that would change the whole fight to some degree. And then he would be able to land a nice, clean, precision-type punch. According to the, the way it's going now, anyone can catch anyone the way these two guys are fighting. According to CompuBox, the two have landed a combined three jabs so far in the fight. Out of a possible 48 thrown. The swelling under the left eye of Maidana. Stop! Yes, Double right hand. Maidana blocked part of it. End of the fourth. We practice it in the gym, Victor. Practice a lot. React, react. Come on, throw the right up top in the hook. Bring your hands up. Bring your hands up. Bend your waist. Understand? And get on the inside and throw the uppercut. Fifth round is coming up. Chino, come on, please do what I ask you. Please do what I ask you. You're walking in when you don't throw your hands. When you don't move your hands. No. Come on, where are we, Chino? Victor, react. Come on, think. Victor Ortiz and Marcos Maidana scheduled for 12. We begin round number five. Ortiz starts off with a jab. Ortiz has connected 54 of his power shots so far in the fight to Maidana's 44. Now, have we seen maybe from Ortiz who's only 22? You know, a little inexperienced at times where you said get that jab going a little bit, don't play for just the big shots where he kind of drifts away from the game plan? Yeah, but I think he's you know, been fighting there. You know, just. I just think he needs to box a little bit more because he's still a much more accurate punch at this stage of the fight and much more precision than uh, than Mandara, Mandara, Mandana is. And I think he needs to box a little bit because he don't need to trade so much. One of the hallmarks of Maidana, great fighters and champion footship fighters, is that when they get hit, their instinct is to throw two back. And Ortiz certainly has that component has that element in his in his fighting personality. Maybe not always the best idea against a puncher like Maidana. Oh, Ortiz doubled up that right hook. 
Man, you, you saw Madonna cautioned again for that punching behind the head. That that punch. Those are not no light punches. Those are some very hard punches behind the head. Side. Artez quit fight. He actually was moving like a boxer without boxing. They exchange big shots and then hold on. Now they try to fight out of it. Ortiz is cut on the right eyebrow. The way these guys are going, anybody can go down. These are, are nuclear shots these two are throwing. Now that's going to give Madonna more energy now after seeing the blood coming. Even though he was cut himself with a slight cut, now he's going to get more energy now. Now the question is going to be, is that cut from a punch or an accidental clash of heads? That's a good point, because the heads were colliding as, as well as they were punching. Because if, it, if this fight eventually gets stopped because of the accidental clash of heads, they would go to the scorecard. If it gets stopped because that cut worsens and it was ruled from a punch, then it would be a win for Maidana if Ortiz couldn't continue later on in the fight because of that cut. Stop. Key point. Good shot by Maidana. Right up the middle. Go, oh, big right hand by Maidana. Maidana cannot miss with the right hand. Victor, how are you feeling? Victor, Victor how are you feeling? We're being told it was from a punch. Referee Raul Cayas Senior says the cut is from a punch. Victor, you want me to stop the fight? I'm going to stop it. I'm going to stop it because you're bringing down your guard. You're bringing down your guard. What's wrong, Victor? Come on, Victor, react. React, I'm going to stop it. Yeah. Come on, give it all. Right here, you can see Madonna land the left hand right on the eye, and that's what caused the cut. No doubt about it. It was definitely not a butt. Here we see Madonna come in here and throw a right hand once again, right on the other. Could have cut his other eye, in fact. Tremendous shot. So it's been ruled a punch, and Maidana comes right out to start round number six. Yeah, Ortiz has to find an answer for that right hand Maidana's throwing, or he's not going to win this fight. I mean, he pulls back. Maidana is in figured, trouble. Maidana's figured out he can't miss with the right hand, and he won't stop throwing it. Ortiz is in big trouble, and he goes down. Come here. Oh, it looks like Ortiz doesn't. I think he was waving his hands like he didn't want to continue. And I think stop the left eye is running up too. Yep. That's too bad. Let's stop it. Yep. They're going to stop it because of that cut. What a fight. Your winner, by way of technical knockout. And now, the interim WBA Super Okay guys, this was an absolutely remarkable fight. It was filled with action, energy, momentum swings, plot twists, everything. Ortiz for me had the more versatile tools, but Maidana looked stronger willed and more determined. His desire for victory when things got tough remained resilient and unwavering. This fight is indicative of the true nature of boxing. It doesn't matter what your personality is like, whether you are popular, young, fast or strong, 
you have to find a way to win the fight and it will largely depend on your mental fortitude and the tools you possess which you'll need to use to the best of your ability. Experiencing fights and even sparring like this can be tough because it will make you ask questions of yourself. Why am I doing this? Am I strong enough to get through this? And have I bitten off more than I can chew? The revelation of these personal insecurities, facing them and immersing yourself in the necessary plight to overcome them can be a fearful process. This is where you become aware and acknowledge your limitations and accept the fact that you may not be as great as your hype man professes. This lonely but self-reflective road is actually the path that leads to greatness. It's a road filled with trials and tribulations, a road that boxing demands of its participants and a road that sets you on the path to push your boundaries. Remember, you are inherently your biggest opponent. Anyway guys, that's all for now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to smash that like button if you have enjoyed watching this particular update. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section if you want to add anything about Marcus Maidana. So until my next one, peace out.